The tale of Pimlico Academy this week in central London, Westminster, is, unless dealt with, a story that could lead to worse division in this country than any of us have ever seen in our lifetimes. So what's the story? A new headmaster takes over at the Pimlico Academy and decides to get tough on school uniform. He wants the kids, in terms of what they wear and their appearance, to be pretty much the same. So he says that he wants hijabs to be of plain colour, not multicolours. And he says he wants the pupils to have hairdos uh, whereby they can't obscure anybody in front of them. But by, by that he means he doesn't want Afro hairdos in the school. Now, clearly, there is an ethnic dimension to this, and it's not surprising that people have complained. But, you know, headmasters and headmistresses all over the country have massive rows about what their students can and can't wear. The point of school uniform is to try and make people pretty much the same. So that, you know, the children of rich parents can't wear better clothes than those of poorer parents. But this argument about school uniform of itself is not unusual at all. What it's led to is, I think, very worrying and deeply divisive. You see, there's a protest now against the headmaster. Students and teachers protesting, threatening strike action unless he backs down on school uniform. But it's led to something else. It's led to the Union flag or Union Jack, whichever term you prefer. It led to it being torn down off the flagpole and burned. But this is not just a protest about clothing policy. This is about the fundamental identity and values of a school. The fact that we have a high percentage of minority students and we have never been educated about black or minorities is abhorrent. I mean, Tudor kings and queens don't reflect who we really are. That flag over there doesn't reflect who we really are. The fact a union flag was put up angered students who said it was like the school had been colonised. In recent months, it was taken down and set on fire. Well, the headmaster put it back up again. But now, the story we're getting from teachers and from students is that the Union Jack itself is a symbol of colonial oppression and that this is not their flag. The implication of all that is being said is that the Union Jack is not for the black or Asian community. And now the headmaster, in response to this, has taken down the flag. Now, let's just think about this. Just think how many millions of black and Asian people served that flag in two world wars and every single one of them did it voluntarily. In fact, the Commonwealth forces made up 40% of our total contribution to two world wars. But the point is this, if through Black Lives Matter, and that is being quoted as the inspiration behind this narrative, if Black Lives Matter is inspiring teachers and students into saying that our national flag is not their flag, we are in a very bad place indeed. And, and, and frankly, an horrendous place, because what will happen is any divisions that exist between black and white in this country, and by the way, I don't think they're that big at all, and I think the report that was out this week pretty much said that. But if that is the narrative being spread through the educational system, we will find black and white people in this country divided as never before. This headmaster needs to reverse his decision. And all of you out there need to wake up to the fact that the whole Black Lives Matter protest was never ever about equality, about fairness on the grounds of race. It was always a Marxist agenda designed to bring down Western capitalism, to defund the police force and to do away with the very existence of the nation state itself. Now we can see this at Pimlico Academy writ large. It's something that I think has the potential to be the most de divisive and dangerous thing we've ever seen in British society. So let's stand up and defend the flag, particularly as it really is now our flag, as we're getting rid of the European Union flag. And that was, I think, a symbol of, uh, of oppression. The Union flag is now worn on t-shirts by kids all over the world. 
It's cool. It looks great. There's no other flag like it. It's our flag. And it is a flag that brings together people in this country from all over the world. Once again, the Marxists are doing their best to indoctrinate our children, to divide our country. They're doing it with an agenda and we must never, ever pander to it. I remember going back to the early days of UKIP, being told you mustn't use the Union flag on literature because, of course, the Union flag is a symbol of fascism. Well, I ignored that. And actually, I think we'd claim back the flag. It had become respectable. You see it everywhere. We can't allow, we cannot allow Marxist teachers at Pimlico Academy to actually make this flag the flag of white people and not black people. It is historically inaccurate. It is wrong. It is divisive. I want everyone to wake up to what's actually going on.